And guess what? It's time for Art Exploration with Jessica, Kelly, and Lisa. Hello, my creative friends. Jessica Sanders here. Welcome to my channel. Every month, we're hosting a color challenge, and we're doing it in our private Facebook group, so we would love to see you there. The link is down below. And once you've finished watching this video, be sure to go check out Kelly and Lisa's YouTube channel for more color challenge fun. So for July, we will be exploring the color red. Yep, that's right, red. Red is an energetic color. It's the color of courage, passion, strength, and also a warning color. So let's explore red a little bit more with our watercolors. Hey friends, I am back to do some more art exploration with you today, and we're going to be exploring the color red. But if you may remember, we already explored red back in January when we first started our group. But when I explored red back in January, I was looking at rosy reds. So today, we're going to take a look at some more orangey reds, more like a ruby red. And we're just going to play around with them and see what happens as usual. So let me just turn back here to my page and we will be ready to go. For today, I have a selection of reds. Now, the idea was that they would be warm red, but I think that this Mayan violet is going to be a purpley red. It is a violet color, so it's not going to be as warm as the others. I'm just not into the warms, really. Uh, so I have this par perline red, and I have quin red, and I have Mayan violet. I have them laid out in my palette, so let's just play around see how they look check out the colors i've got my gold on standby because you know i love it and let's just oh it's gorgeous okay so this is more of a true red and i have some other colors of like really rusty reds but i didn't really want to go with it that orangey so that's what we have here now look this quin red is pretty pink <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I thought it would be warmer. That's okay, though. It looks warmer on the tube. If you look at the tube color, it looks warmer on the tube. And I haven't used it very much because I have been using my Mission Gold colors. And it's just, I didn't need it. So, that's really a pinky red. So, you know what I'm going to say? Warm reds, not so much. <laughs> Oh well, we'll just play with these reds that we have and have fun with them and we'll just enjoy the process. Now this Mayan Violet, well it's very violet when you squeeze it out. Again, it looks pretty red here on the tube. Haven't used it a lot, but it's really a, a purple. So really more like a closer to an alizarin crimson maybe than a red. I don't know. Anyway, fun stuff. We're just going to keep going with where we are and play with these. So the complement of red is green. If it was a warm red, the complement would be blue-green. Um, but these are not as warm as I thought they might be. So I'm just going to put some down here in different little places. And I'll put a green in the middle. And I was thinking I would just use the teal, but... Maybe I should use a more neutral kind of green. So I grabbed my Misha Gold palette and I have this sap, sap green. Let's just use that, okay? It's a compliment. Green is definitely the compliment of red. I was just trying to get something that was also the compliment of the tone, the warm and cool tone. So green is the compliment. There we go. I'm going to drop more in there. It's already drying. Ah, it's already drying. I thought for too long. Let me add some more of it. So when we mix these together, we're going to get a really neutral color. If we use this green with these. But also, they make each other pop, right? That's what compliments do. Compliments complement one another. They make the other person or the other color stand out. So that's kind of an easy way to remember it. So green is the complement of these reds. 
Now, if I'm doing my favorite combos, like I said, I haven't used these particular colors very much because I use my Mission Gold palette a lot, but I was trying to just give you something a little different than the Mission Gold. Um, this is a gorgeous red, though, this Perline. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly, but of course I know it's going to look fabulous with gold. So I'll go ahead and put some of that next to it. And of course, a near compliment <laughs> would be a teal. Okay, that'll look nice. Let me pick up these others. This Quinn red is very pink compared to that other one, compared to the Perilene. And then this is even, this is more purpley. But we'll just put them all there. I love this mix right here. That's a really nice mix of this purple and this blue green. This is cobalt teal. <laughs> I don't even know if I said that. Okay, so this is a little mini color study of the color red. Again, I was trying to just give you an idea of the kind of reds that um, we'll be using for the project. So I will be using these and I'll do a little demo for you. I really have been into painting geodes lately. <laughs> I've just been doing that so much. I, I think I was thinking of possibly doing a cherry, but at the same time, I'm like, I'd really just love to do geode. And since we're exploring color and it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific kind of thing, I'm going to go with the geode inspired abstract. Okay, so let me tape off my paper. I'll be right back. So I've taped off my, my paper just for fun to create that nice edge. I got out some gauze and some salt that I may or may not use for texture. And I have time lapse this video for you. It is actually four times the speed that I would normally paint. So don't try and paint this fast. This is just to make it quick and easy for you. And I just started exploring lines and texture. Now for me, the abstract geode inspired art is really all about line variation, texture, and flow, the flow of the composition and the flow of the line. So one line informs the next line, etc. And I just had a lot of fun playing around with the colors, creating some soft edges and some hard edges. And I kept this monochromatic. I have, <laughs> if nothing else, I'm consistent with making things monochromatic in this book. It turned out really pretty. I do add a little bit of gold and I had some fun. I'm actually really amazed at how different these colors look from one another. So the Quinn Red, the Pyroline Red, and the Mayan Violet, they all work together really nicely, but they're all quite different. And one of the favorite things that I did in this painting was putting down the Mayan Violet and then charging in or dropping in the Quinn Red. And it just made such an interesting color combo and really, I, I really loved that combo. So I learned that by doing this painting. I also really enjoyed creating those soft edges with the Quinn Red. I keep wanting to say Quinn Violet, but it's Quinn Red. <laughs> I have Quinn Violet too, we could try that sometime. Uh, it just flowed really softly into the water when I created the soft edge and it really just added a really special touch, I think, to this painting. So I, I did this actually in a couple of layers. I did some overlapping while the paint was wet and some overlapping while the paint was dry. So I used a lot of different techniques to create this little painting. I tried to create a lot of texture by doing things like adding salt, dropping in the paint or charging in the paint into the other colors, and even creating little brush marks with the gold. I think it worked really well and I'm just really super happy with how this turned out. I think when you're creating a painting, if you can really just limit what you're focusing on, like I did for this line, texture, flow, then it really gives you focus in creating even if you're painting abstract art. Now this is inspired by geodes and the layers and the lines and it's not 
much like a geode, but it still has that feel of texture and line and flow that I get when I look at a geode or an agate slice. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy you're here. Be sure and hop over to our Facebook group, join in, it's free, and we'll be really happy to have you there and come explore color with Kelly, Lisa, and I.